All right, so I'm going to open up and show how to disassemble this Acer um, model N16P1. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, you have to use a PH0 or J0 screwdriver bit. Um, once you do that, you can actually lift from the back. Um, you'll need a pry tool or your fingernails. Um, but you'll get up part of the cover and then slide your fingernail or pry tool along the edge. All right, and then just pop it open just like this. Okay. All right. So just like that. Go along. Same thing with this side. Slide your fingernail or pry tool along and just pop the edges just like that. Okay. Once you do that, you can lift the cover off. It comes out just like that. And then you can see there's the charging port here connected by this cable. Um, and then there's the wireless antennas here. So you'd have to peel this tape off, but like every other model, you lift from the tail and it'll pop off the circular connector. To put it back, you just um, place it back on top and then push it down. Um, there's a connector here for the audio jack and these lights. Um, so if something happens to this board, then you can replace it. Um, there's a cable here for that, separate. Um, then you got the speaker connector here. It connects all the way across to the other speaker. You got the battery. If you want to work on computers to start taking things apart, usually rec uh, replace the battery first to be safe and then hold the power button. Um, then uh, the wireless card, I forgot to mention, if you take it out, there's a screw. So to remove that, when you remove that screw, the wireless card will pop up at an angle and then you can wiggle it out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. Then you got the connector here for the trackpad. To take that out, you just flip this up and you can pull that out. The keyboard, there's the two tabs here. You just wiggle this out and then you can pull this cable out. Okay, put it back and then push these back down. Then you got the LCD connector here. There's just some tape holding it and then you can pull it out. If you're gonna remove the LCD cable connector, it's very important that you disconnect the battery and hold the power button because you can short something out if you don't, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. Everything is soldered to this board, it seems. Um, I'm not going to go through and take the whole board out because this is a customer's computer. And the only problem they're having is with the charge port. Um, so this one, the charge port, the brackets that hold it in place broke. So it just needs some glue to hold it so it doesn't get pushed inside the computer. Um, but yeah, with how close this board is to the keyboard, um, I'm guessing that the SSD and the RAM is all soldered to this board and you can't upgrade it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you at least to see what's inside um, and prevents you from opening it up with uh, thinking you can upgrade something and waste your time. Um, if it did help you, please like and subscribe because that'll help me and thanks for watching. Bye.